We finally got some actual VR gloves that work with the MetaQuest headsets and that can completely replace your standard controllers. But how good are they really? And what are some important things that you need to know before you buy them? Well, let's dive right into it. And what better way to start it off than with what comes inside the box? Because these gloves, which are known as the Context Gloves 2, consist of just three main parts, which is the glove itself, the tracking adapter, and the so-called magnet trap controller piece. And it also comes with a USB adapter for your PC. But let's take a closer look to each one. And that means that first up, we have the glove. Now this is made from a stretchy black sports material on the inside with an easy to wipe surface on the back of it. And inside, you will find the flex sensors that are used to track the position of each of your fingers individually. And because it is possible to take them out, it also means that you can simply wash your gloves when they get dirty over time. So that's pretty nice. Although, just make sure though that you are very careful with these sensors and that you put them back in the correct order to prevent some tracking problems. And another nice detail is that the fingertips now have an open design so that you can still do things like use your phone or type without having to take them off. And that gets us also directly to the second part of them, which is the tracking adapter. Now this piece of the hardware has the haptic motor built into it, which makes it possible for you to partially feel what happens in your VR games. And while I at first thought that the placement on the back is a slight strange location for this, while you are inside a VR experience, these still manage to make you feel its rumbles throughout your entire hand. So honestly, it felt a lot more realistic than I originally thought it would. But besides that, this is also the part of the glove where you can attach a sensor to them, like those from Vive. And you can do that with the included adapter pieces that come in the box. And this is actually needed because the gloves itself are not capable of positional tracking from the start. However, they luckily also have the option to buy a separate holder piece where you can simply attach your Quest 3 or Quest 3S controller to it. And in that way, you will now be able to see both your position thanks to your basic controllers, as well as the individual finger movements that are much more accurate with the use of the previously mentioned flex sensors. And this can be really important in social VR titles, like VRChat for example. Oh yeah, and on this tracking adapter piece, you will also find the on and off button, as well as the USB-C charging port. But moving on, we have probably the coolest part of this entire device, and that is the controller module. Because unlike many other VR gloves out there, this will let you use your normal button inputs whenever you want, while also giving you the option to put it out of the way if you only want to use your hands. Now we should also talk about the input itself, and this consists of your thumbsticks and AB buttons, as well as a home menu button for your Steam VR titles. And on the back of it, you'll quickly find the trigger. However, you might notice that one button is missing, and that is when it comes to your grip. Because instead of having a dedicated place for this one, like you have on your Quest 3 controllers, you will now be gripping objects in VR by closing your hands itself. But that gets us to the software. Now luckily, this is really straightforward. Just use the included adapter piece, install the software, and follow the steps that will pop up on screen, and in no time, you're just ready to go. Making this overall very seamless and easy setup experience. However, we should also talk about some important things that you need to know before you buy it. Now firstly, the previously mentioned trigger button is pretty high up compared to what you might expect. But luckily, you can buy some 3D printed extensions for this that you can click on and it solved this problem altogether. However, these aren't included with your gloves from the start. Now secondly, is that the gloves come in three different sizes, that being small, medium, and large. So make sure to check out your correct measurements beforehand. And the ones I have right here are M, and I have pretty small hands compared to average. But probably the most important thing is of course the price. Now the total cost of these gloves comes in at $600. And while this is definitely on the high sides, I will of course also add a link for you guys in the description below, together with a code which is Frelity that can at least shave a nice 5% off of your total price. And it is also good to know that this includes the base glove, the adapter piece, and the controller input device. But you might want to keep in mind that you will still need to add the holder piece for the Quest 3 controllers to this if you don't have trackers laying at home which also directly gets us to the final conclusion. Now the Contact Glove 2 is truly an insane piece of hardware that can finally let you get the best of both worlds when it comes to precise hand tracking, while also still having the option to use a controller input device depending on your own needs. However, with the cost of them, I do think that these are best suited for the more hardcore VR enthusiasts that love some social VR games, or for those who want to take their PC VR experience to the next level. But that's not all, because there are also some must-play PC VR games that you need to try for your MetaQuest 3. So click on the video that you see on screen right now to make sure you don't miss out on that. And of course, stay awesome.